Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. And you know a company is taking a gamble when they send you free stuff to review, especially when it's a major toy company like Busby Toys. And I've been a fan of Busby's work for a long time, ever since I got into the foam flinging hobby when I was younger. I saw Busby stuff and was instantly interested, and they've definitely made some interesting products to date. My favorite probably being the Sentinel, not very original, um, but they've also had some very cool air zone products. I've liked a lot of the stuff they've done, and um, they decided to send me things. Thank you, Busby. I don't know why, but thank you. The thermal tracker. No, well, it does not come with two of these, but interesting to note, the design of the night vision or the uh, heat seeking scope has actually changed. This is the one that actually comes with it, this heat seeking scope. It's actually a little slimmer of a design than the original one. And then also the covert squad. Well, okay, it doesn't come with a scope technically. Either does this one, but I was playing around because that's what I do. You've probably heard of these blasters already, and I've actually I've actually used this in a game before on a survey. If you haven't seen that one before, I was on top of a tower. I was shooting at people from afar. I was actually having a lot of fun with this. The design of this is based off of the Hunter, which is an older version which I actually have picked up too. This one's better. Thank goodness. The performance on this, I think, is actually, as the box claims, around 100 feet. You know, if you angle it and you maybe punch a little bit or use the right darts, you could probably get that range. Um, effective range, less. But the Hunter was much worse. So it was great to see that this actually performed better. And I've tried to get some footage with this blaster and this blaster since the Busby Toys sent them to me. And I haven't gotten a chance to, which is why this video is coming a lot later than they probably were hoping. Um, I wanted to use them again in a game. I did not get a chance to because reasons, I'm sorry, but I felt like that would be the best way to actually test them out. So really quickly then, since I've used this one a little bit more, but haven't gotten a chance to show off some communication skills with the two of them. Obviously the bolt action is not for everyone. Uh, and that does get in your hand a little bit. I don't know why they seem to really love this design. It's not the worst handle for me. My hands are small though, but it's it's usable. And the shell itself is decently comfy. It's got the rail up here, which is nice. And then the uh, walkie-talkie bit, which allows you to communicate with the other one, is all encompassed right here in the stock, which means that this piece right here is completely removable. So you have blaster, and then you have walkie-talkie, which is why you can detach this and talk, not without unscrewing it, but shh, you can. And it allows you to change to two different channels, one being red and one being green. And I would not recommend doing them right next to each other. No! That's how you call your friends from the deep. Oh, that one's worse. Ah. Now the thermal tracker I have less experience with, and I've only actually seen this before with Walcom and Luchathor. We did an unboxing of it together. Uh, if you haven't seen that, um, I'm not sure if I can recommend it, but go ahead and check it out if you want to. Uh, it's uh, nice having two rails, I guess. Um, modular stuff. The stock is adjustable. It's a little bit of adjustment, but it's actually a decent length in my opinion. Uh, the button for that is right here. The handle is, 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 I don't know about this handle, and there's a little spot right here that just is not good even for my small hands. And the ridge inside the trigger well is kind of undesirable. Once again, bolt action, but once again, the performance on this is actually decent. And from what I've just done shooting here and there, it's fine for a stock blaster. Magazines are compatible with uh, Nerf and Busby alike. And then this grip up here is nice, but I don't know how useful it is uh, when you're always having to use the bolt. I don't know. You could be using your right or your left hand. Your choice. The Covert Squads also come with the earbuds. And I would love to run these in a the game sometime soon when I get to, but I haven't gotten to. And what I do know is that I kept seeing these pop up, and you probably keep seeing them pop up, not just from rev reviewers, but if you follow Busby on Facebook, they actually have been posting a lot of pictures recently to kind of advertise that, you know, oh, these blasters are coming out, so you should check them out. Um, which, I mean, it's appropriate around the holidays. It's currently January, so I, I missed that mark. Have you seen those pictures yet? Because they're meant to be shown to people. If you haven't seen them yet, I, th I think you should see them, which is why we're going to look at them right now, because they're, uh, <laughs> they're eye-catching to say the least, not so much on the thermal tracker. 
mostly on the Covert Squad. And they actually fall into their weekly giveaways, which if you yeah don't know, Busby does do some weekly giveaways, and I've, I've seen them pop up forever because I've actually gotten one of those giveaways a long time ago. And now they did a, a huge holiday giveaway every week with uh, these blasters in specific. So first we had, oh, okay, we had a different one for week one. That was the Adventure Force Crossbow. They did not send me that one. I've actually never seen this variant in person. I have seen the crossbow before, but I've never seen that sight on top. That's actually kind of cool. I may have to track that down one day. I think Captain Xavier would love it too. It's in his colors. And then week two of the holiday giveaway, you can see there's the thermal tracker. All right, yep, makes sense. Week three of the holiday giveaway. All right, there you go. There's the covert squad with all of its stuff. Week four of the holiday giveaway. Whoa, oh, what's, what is happening here? <laughs> Gingerbread men with the Covert Squad blasters, and they, are they shooting at Rudolph? Is that one shooting at Rudolph? Is that what I'm looking at right there? I don't know if I like this. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, about to take one to the face. I'm not sure exactly what they were thinking with this one, but it definitely caught my attention. Also, Rudolph is flying on his own. I guess that's the real reason that they're shooting at him because Rudolph abandoned his post and the gingerbread men are responsible for taking him out. That's deep and disturbing. Week five of the holiday giveaway has two nutcrackers, one on red and one on green. How do nutcrackers with their spheres for hands operate this blaster? All right, we're gonna test this out. Fist, fist. Oh, I got it. Oh, how does one pull the trigger? Busby, I don't understand this one for practicality reasons. Nope, okay, well, we'll just ignore that. And lastly, right now where I am, week six, holiday giveaway. Oh, I guess they are doing a New Year's one, so yay, New Year's. But there were some other photos that were posted during this time, so let's let's go back and check those out. Aha, snowmen with the covert squad. Two friends, one with Santa hat, one with a top hat. Look at those fingers. So you give the snowmen fingers, and the, the poor nutcrackers are stuck with these balls and they can't fire their blasters, what is this? Next up we've got holiday blaster spectacular, Santa. What is that face, buddy? I don't really know what you're so excited about, unless you're really excited about this Covert Squad blaster. It's filling you with magic and sparkles. You know, personally, I wanna know who is he talking to because he's got the piece in his ear, but we just see Santa in the picture. So there's no like Mrs. Claus, there's no, I don't even know, who does Santa talk to, his elves? And next, oh, okay, um, here are the elves. I guess Santa's not talking to the elves or he's talking to all of these elves. I don't know how to feel about this image. They're looking right into my soul. I don't like it. Mm -mm. I, I do not like this. Uh, it's a creepy smile. <laughs> this elf is shooting a dart and the other one has got the blaster aimed right at the other one. Are you guys on the same team? Or is one of you taking orders from Santa? If you get rid of the other elf, everything you've always wanted will be yours. <laughs> And lastly, oh no, Rain reindeer human hybrids. Okay, Busby, why? I guess they can kind of use this blaster better because they've got more fingers. I can't exactly tell how many, but more than the nutcracker ball. So that's nice. Also here we have Rudolph right down in front, looking into your soul, firing away. If I had to hazard a guess as to where he was aiming, I would say the gingerbread men who shot at him earlier. So I guess the deep story here is that the gingerbread men were shooting up at Rudolph over the moon, they missed, and now Rudolph got a friend and is out for revenge. And then you've got the onlooking snowman in the background, obviously a spy for the other snowmen we just saw. This is all out war at the North Pole. I think this is what Santa wanted. He's just holding his covert squad blast. Like, oh, war, all out civil war with my friends. May the best man win. So anyhow, I just wanted to share those images with you in case you haven't seen them for Busby. I do recommend following them on Facebook so you can be the first to see some fantastic images like these. I can only imagine Valentine's Day will have some fantastic pieces. Actually, let me 
browse to see if I can find Valentine's Day from last year. Maybe I've already got my wishes granted. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's a heart made of Busby darts with an arrow made of Busby darts through it. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wait, this is from February 14th, 2017. Oh, okay, I don't know if there's a 2018 one, sorry, but this one's beautiful. I mean, I'm mwah. Can we go back further? Is there more? All right, shoot, I can't find anything else for a February 14th, but I did find this one from February 25th, 2015. It's a meme. Who do you prefer, Nerf or Boomco? Busby. What do I even say to that? That's uh, savage words from Busby through memes. I'm happy with this. Make more stuff like this, Busby, please. I enjoy looking at this. Nothing like throwing shade. Uh, we know it's all good shade. Can you throw good shade? I don't know. Thanks again, Busby, for sending me these. Again, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to play with these more. I would like to, and I will. It's just taken me a little bit of time, but I know that these have been pretty good performance-wise as I've tested them. And if you wanna see some more in-depth reviews, I know they are out there, so you won't be starved of information if you are wondering, oh boy, whether or not these are worth your money. I believe they are 25 bucks each, the two-pack for the Covert Squad, and then the Thermal Tracker. So. Until next time, watch the skies for Rudolph, and thank you very much for watching.